Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So I'm back with my altered book. We're going to do a page in here. Uh, if you've not seen it, there is a playlist for this altered book showing you how I put it together and the pages that we've done up to now. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, I think we're nearly coming to the middle. I think that was the last page we've done. Yeah, so today we're going to do these two pages. And this one is just needs some paper on the back. So let's choose some papers to match. Uh, what colours do I want to go with today is the question. Do I want something pinky today maybe? I've not used oh, what we've got there. That's a piece of card. I don't need that in there. Just shove that on my shelf. Um, just looking for something sort of shabby, vintagey looking. That one. Ledger, let's have that. And let's have a look if we've got something. Oh, let's have that one. That's nice. Then dusky pink flowers in the background. We'll have those two for now. We might need some more, but we can just do that for now. Right, let's just, it gets harder as you get through the book, you know, trying to um, keep your book open. So let's put this ledger on this one. Let's just get rid of um, the white from around the edge. It does say my, my printer prints borderless, but I always, it never goes right to the very end. I always get this white border. I don't know whether it's, I don't know how you fix it, to be honest. I've no idea whether you can fix it or whether it's just the way your printer works. I don't mind cutting that little bit off. Right, okay, let's just measure how long... Uh, we want to. Right, I need a pencil. There, I think. There, and about there. Okay, let's just put my book up there for a minute. So be careful with this trimmer. I cut my hand the other day. I don't know whether you've seen the video yet, but I sliced my finger on this edge. So so yeah. Right, let's have a little look at that and see if that's gonna fit on this side. Yeah, that's gonna fit on there. So let's ink this up a little bit. How's everybody doing? Are you all okay? I hope so. There's lots of colds going about at the moment, isn't there? Virus, different viruses going about that time of the year, isn't it? When the children bring all sorts home from school. Right, let's stick you on there. Let's fade up the top. I'm going to put a pocket at the bottom here. We'll have some of this card. Right, let's just cut a piece of this card off. Just there. Just make sure that other side's straight. For a minute, we'll let go on there. Yep, I'm just going to put some paper on here. I'm just going to use that other piece. I think. Will it be? No, it won't be big enough. I don't think. Will that piece be big enough? No, I'll have to get another piece of paper out here. I'll just use this one here. These letters. Okay, I want the white, so I'm just 
and stick it in the middle and I don't get the white border. Just trim around it. Oh, I've got papers at the side of me. I keep catching them with my arm. Trying to sort my desk out so that I've just got the project that I'm actually working on on my desk. But it's taken me a while to try and tidy up and find homes for everything. Right, yeah, that's okay. Let's just put that over there. And let's put a little thumb notch in. Put some ink around the edges. Right, I have to move them. They're driving me mad. I keep catching my arm on them. That's better. Right, put that on there. Just give it a second to grab. I'm just going to try and ink around my page. Oh, it's gluing. Pulled the page apart. Right, let's just put a little bit of ink around the edge of it. Do the top as well and the bottom. Right, so there's that pocket. So let's do this page now. What have we got here? Oh, we've just got a little pocket just there. So we want some paper on here. Let's just cover it. Let's just cut off the edges rather of this one. I'm enjoying doing these videos it's nice not having a journal on the go at the moment because I feel like I've made so many over the past few months I've not had a chance to just have a little play and make some things that I want to do you know I feel like I've been constantly recording videos of me making a journal and sometimes it gets a bit too much for you to watch doesn't it to be fair let's see where we need to cut it from right let's just There and oh, I snapped my pencil. There, yeah, it's nice just to have a play doing different things at the moment rather than putting a journal together. Will that fit in there? I'll have to get my big one. No good, it'll fit in. Right, let's have a look if I've cut that right or whether I've made a mess of it. Where's the end of the page? Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Let's just put some ink on the edge of here. This is a nice project just to pick up and do a page at a time. You know, if you just fancy doing some collage, it's a nice project to have on the go, an altered book. Even if you just pick it up and do a page like I've been doing. I do that and then I go back at the end and make all my ephemera to go in the pockets and that I'm just going to hold that piece of paper up whilst I I'll cut it a little bit short but I could always put some lace around the bottom that's fine so that's going to go there right let's just glue this piece down and then it doesn't keep flopping about will that piece be big enough for the yeah, because I can put some lace on, can't I? I'm just going to use this. Put some lace at the bottom. Oops, my pencil. I'll just cut that down. Oh, it's nearly lunchtime. I'm hungry. I <laughs> don't know what I'm going to have today. Right. Put you in the bin. We don't need you. No, I don't know what I feel like for my lunch, to be honest. No idea. Mm, 
right so put you on there which way around do you go that way right so i'm definitely gonna have to put something on the bottom of there because that's really short i'm gonna put some lace bear with me guys i'm just gonna get a scrap piece of lace i think they're in here yeah Right, I just want a little bit of lace or something. Um, how thick do I want it? I think that might be too thick. Let's have a look at this one. I'm going to use that and I'm going to use it as like a little pocket. Just at the bottom there because I've cut the paper wasn't long enough really right um what do I want this one art glitter not art glitter what's it called fabric tack three in one I haven't used it for ages and ages I only tend to use this on my covers to be honest See if that will stick that on there. That's better, isn't it? And then you've not got the bottom showing. Um, do I want to put a thumb notch in here? And then let's glue these top and bottom down to make the pocket. I'll just hold on to that for a minute. I need to fill up this three in one glue. Oh, it's coming out the sides there. I'll have to sort that out in a minute. I think I need a new bottle. Right, so let's do a little bit of embellishing then. I've got this tin out as well. This has got like all oh, bits of faux vintage bits that I can use for embellishing with oh look at that big cloth is that a sticker i wonder if that would fit on there whether it'd be too big no too big like that what else have i got let's have a look in this little box first that little journal card i'm just going to pop in there like that just found that in the little tin <laughs> right what have we got here Teapot, that would have been nice. Vintage teapot. These are just little bits and pieces, but no, there's nothing there. Let's have a look if there's anything in this big one. Is there a, oh, what's that? That's nice. Right, let's put that bird on the, the vintage bird cage. I can trim off the edges. that on right there like that oh actually it fits on and then we've got something here and uh, what should we have we've got a butterfly or anything um, no these are not really what I'm looking for I'll get my other one out in a minute What's these? Just want something to go on the side, on the top of there as well. Clock. I don't think I want that in there. Yeah, let's put that clock on there. Oh, excuse me. I've gone horse. <laughs> I could still put something in there, maybe. I might stick something on the front of there, right? Or a little label or something for here. Let me just get these scraps of paper. <clears throat> I've got my other box of ephemera here put that, that down there okay just pop that there and then let's just cut 
put around this little number it's all leaking everywhere that you know, bubbles up doesn't it that three and one right let's put this little number on pop it there and i think i'm going to put I don't think I'm going to put that butterfly on there. I don't think it goes. Have I got anything else that we can stick on there? There we go. We'll stick that on because that matches the clock, the same colour. And I'm just going to look for a little sentiment to go at the top there. What does that say? Sometimes you just need to breathe. No half of these in here because one day at a time there we go that'll do i don't like half of them i'm going to go through them and get rid of the ones that i won't use it's just when you buy a kit and you cut them i've just been putting them all in there but there's some that i would never use so i'm going to get rid of them and then i know what i've got in there i will use this just says one day at a time and that's quite fitting isn't it because we've got the clock there as well so yeah put that at the top there and that is me done guys with my page and my altered book like i said it's one of them projects you can just pick up do a couple of pages when you want to i'm just going to put a little bit of ink around the edge you know even if you just want a little bit of crafty time 20 minutes to work in your altered book so there we go then it's coming along nicely how many have we got left to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. about twelve thirteen so yeah we'll just carry on plodding on so there we go then guys i hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you so much for stopping by take care and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now